Right now, a little bit of Hillary, then Congressman Mike Pompeo. You know, you're starting with so many assumptions that are, I've never had a subpoena. There is nothing. Again, let's take a deep breath here. Everything I did was permitted by law and regulation. I had one device. When I mailed anybody in the government, it would go into the government system. Now, I didn't have to turn over anything. I chose to turn over 55,000 pages because I wanted to go above and beyond what was expected of me. All right, you know, that seems so long ago and far away, but uh, Congressman Mike Pompeo, he's a member of uh, not only the uh, House uh, Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, but a member of the House Select Committee on Benghazi. Congressman, welcome, sir. Great to be with you, Steve. Well, great to talk to you again. Okay, so um, th th these latest uh, occurrences, uh, the server now in the hands of the FBI, Justice Department, FBI investigation, um, and now we get some word that um, uh, Clinton's inner circle may have actually stripped the email classification markings uh, from those emails. Um, how deep has this gotten quickly, it, it, it seems? Well, we've been working at this to figure out how to get all the information to complete the record so we can solve the riddle of how four Americans were killed. Now, almost three years ago, Steve, right? Yeah, September, September 11, 2012. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, we, we, we were pursuing these documents through the State Department, and lo and behold, we found out that systematically, former Secretary Clinton had been avoiding making sure that any, uh, had intentionally been avoiding making sure any of those emails got into the government system. In that clip you showed, she said that they all would have ended up on the government system, but that's not, that's not correct. That's a false statement. Um, she was emailing back and forth to others on her server and to their private email accounts as well. And uh, we just don't have a complete record. We now have that server, or at least apparently have that server in the hands of the FBI. That's good. It's about time, frankly. Um, I wish I wish that server had been seized uh, when we first came to understand that there was risk, that there was classified information on it. And now the FBI will be able to conduct their investigation to see if there was criminal conduct associated with the mishandling of top secret SCI information. But how does this, uh, th and that's great, and I hope they do do a thorough investigation, although some believe a special prosecutor might be needed to get that done. But that aside, uh, are, are, is your committee, are you assured in any way, shape, or form that you will see the emails that are pertinent to getting to the bottom of what your committee, the select committee, is charged with, and that is, as you referred to, finding out about what happened three years ago on September 11th. No, Steve, we're, we're not. Uh, we, we have made modest progress with the State Department, but frankly, we're now a year and a half into that effort, uh, way behind when they should have been able to provide it. You'll recall the first time they told us that we had all of the documents, they didn't, they thought that we had them. They didn't know that these private documents were, or these documents, these government documents, we're sitting on a private server. Uh, so we've still got a lot of work to do to get access to all the relevant information. Chairman Gowdy has made very clear um, it is insufficient to allow uh, former Secretary Clinton's lawyer to decide which of those emails uh, are relevant to our investigation. That we don't want to see anything about her yoga routine or her, her daughter's <laughs> wedding, but that we do have an obligation for the American people to get access to all the Libya and Benghazi documents. We know too, Steve, that the production that she made was not complete. When we received the Sidney Blumenthal documents, there were nine full and, and six partial emails between she and Mr. Blumenthal, so she would have had those documents that she didn't turn over. We still don't know why we've not gotten access to those, and it leads us to question how many more documents have not been turned over. Well, she was obviously talking to him to make uh, her next yoga uh, appointment, I guess, right? <laughs> Well, these were these were documents about Libya and about conversations about national security. Uh, they were important documents that help us get to the relevant. And so she, and, and and you're saying that based on what you guys know, uh, she did not choose to hand those over in the fifty-five thousand pages. She, as far as we know, according to her own words, she wiped those clean. Right, that's what she said. She said she deleted them. Uh, she said that they no longer exist. Uh, and what we know with certainty is that in response to a, a requirement from the Benghazi committee, Mr. Blumenthal turned over emails between himself and former Secretary Clinton, and we have not received those from the State Department or from her. Well, how is that, Pop? I mean, do you guys have subpoena power or don't you? 
So we have some power to issue subpoenas. Indeed, have issued. Your clip said that Secretary Clinton. Well, no, I know that. She said, yeah, but I mean, uh, the the ones like that the State Department that you just referred to are holding back, in your view. Can't you uh, subpoena them to hand them over? So the documents, the documents, uh, the request is outstanding. We'll, uh, we will, they, they tell us they're going to provide incremental documents to us. They now have a second problem, Steve, which is as part of their review now, they're having to do a classification review. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so they now, they now are going to, I fear, be even slower. I think that's unacceptable. We're now this far, this long into the investigation. They need to put the resources in place. All right, when so you, that we can do our job. Now, Hillary is going to testify before this committee. I mean, has anything been, uh, I mean, do we know that it's going to be October or we think it's going to be October? Uh, her counsel has told uh, the committee that she will appear on October 22nd, 2015. October 22nd, 2015. All right. Sounds good, uh, Congressman. I thank you very much. Uh, Thanks, We Steve. look forward to it. By the way, will that be an open session? Yes, sir. It'll be open. Americans can watch it, and I, I hope and, that we'll do a professional job of getting the answers and, that they so richly deserve. And she'll be under oath, correct? She will have an obligation to tell the whole truth every single All time. All right. Can't wait for that one. <laughs> Congressman, Thanks, thank you very much. All right, folks. Uh, it's very interesting. And uh, I don't know. Let's hope we get to the bottom of it. We're coming back. Uh, more of the Steve Molesberg Show up next. Don't go away.